video to show the completeness of this kit and how easy it is, I hope anyway. And so it's the SBOC 342 3D plane. Very well packed with lots of this kind of stuff in a big box. I'm very impressed with the packing. And so Let's take a look at this thing. It's, it comes with a nice little carrying case, which is cool. You can see it has a has a handle here. <clears throat> this is, of course, Horizon's Bind and Fly series, which they claim is almost complete, all but the battery. <clears throat> so let's take a look in here. We notice we do have really, really good packing. These little taped down pieces, very impressive. Get a shot of that front right there. It's very easy to get this loose. Let's see. Yes. We notice the box is, is plenty large enough for the plane so that the plane can't possibly touch the sides anywhere, even on the tail. Gorgeous. Got nice uh, wrapping on the top here on the front and on the back also. Pieces to keep it from being being rubbed and scraped by the protective system. It looks like there's not one scratch on this plane anywhere. Nothing on the leading edges. It's absolutely perfect in every way and I am very pleased. Now we see, we notice that the servos are all mounted on this plane. Completely wired wheels, propeller, and all the surfaces are hinged and there's absolutely nothing to do with this little airplane. I say that is amazing. At the risk of sounding, sounding too excited. So let's just set that right here. Now I want to I want to say here that uh, the only thing I had to buy extra was a battery, and the battery here's the battery, the 180 milliamp hour battery, uh, E-Flight. It's a lithium poly battery, and here I, I bought two of them, and so this is what the battery looks like. It's extremely small, nice little battery. And this is the only extra item I had to purchase, and I believe it was about $11 for the battery. So, uh, what we see here is complete airplane. I, I just can't, I just can't uh, accentuate this enough. Complete with spinner mounted, it's all ready to fly except for plugging in this very battery and we will be ready. I don't have the radio now so I'm not going to plug it but this is magnetically coupled here you see how this is going on and off there and it just slides out and it has two magnets which which hold it so putting it back together again is just a cinch and a snap. And inside we have a 2500 
RPM per volt motor. One of the cutest little outrunner motors I've ever seen. It's just a very nice, nice model. And of course, we have the battery connector here, which is right here, which will plug in the battery and uh, position it in like this after we plug it in with the uh, canopy closed here. I'm not going to plug that in just now because I don't have the radio with me here. But it gives you an idea. And voila!